and we are back for another battle. We are up to battle number five now in round one of Matcha Madness. Today we will be pitting Blend 100 from Breakaway Matcha up against Uji Matcha Chiyo Mukashi from Ocha. Once again, I've gone ahead and prepped all of the containers so that I won't have to be opening them for the first time. We already know how this is going to work, so let's just get into the brewing and I'll see you back here for the tasting. Okay, we're back for the tasting now. You can see already in the glasses here, this is a little bit darker green, the Blend 100. This is a bit more vibrant green, the uh, Gio Mukashi. So let's give them a quick sniff. This is the highest numbered blend that Breakaway Matcha offers, one of their highest tier matchas. They have four above these that have, that have specific names that aren't Blend 100, Blend 99. A little sweet. Just like sweet water. Don't even know that I get much vegetal. Not really. Just kind of sweet water. I'm intrigued. This is very, very green and it just kicked up quite a bit of uh, crema as you can see here. And it's just a nice dense foam that's sitting on top of this. And that foam is probably also blocking some of the uh, aromas trying to escape off of the liquid. But there's a little bit more going on in the glass, but not much. It does smell a little bit less sweet. It just kind of smells very neutral. All right. So now that we got kind of a baseline smell here, let's give them a, give them a taste. Salut. Mm. Okay, wow. Very green pea. And you get the those sweet green peas fresh from the garden. It's very fresh, but it's just like, it's like at that last moment where it's starting to get a little bit bitter, just almost. What it reminds me of, just almost pureed sweet fresh pea. And that bitterness is, like I said, it's not, it's not a strong bitter bitter, like it hits you bitterness. It's, it's more like, hey, I'm a little bit of bitterness. How you doing? Just gonna hang out here inside. Yeah, I stop myself before I drink it all. That's really good. And that crema just floating on top of this thing like nobody's business. So it takes me on a little bit more of a journey. It's a little flat and one note at first, just kind of a sweetness. And then it kind of rolls into a bit more of bitterness, but then that quickly transitions back into sweetness. So it kind of goes sweet, a little bit bitter, and then sweet again. A little bit, a little bit more woodsy flavors coming off the top end. More of a, like a green wood, like a, the dense, part of asparagus or something like that. Also very good. I could keep on drinking either one of those, be perfectly happy. I think, yeah, the Blend 100 is gonna take it on this one. This is absolutely a wonderful matcha. Gonna give the Blend 100 a nod and it will be making its way into round two where we will see it again. In keeping with tradition, that means we now get to learn more about Uji Matcha Chiyo Mukashi from Ocha. So this is a, a standard 30 gram container and an international order uh, coming direct from Japan. The conversion rate at the time that I purchased this particular matcha brought this in at $33.67, or approximately $1.12 per gram. The season is 2018, and the origin is somewhere in Uji. That's all I know. The description direct from Ocha reads as follows. One of our best matcha green teas, Matcha Chio Mukashi, is above average in every way. This matcha is borderline between thick and thin matcha and can be served either way. Whether you use this for the tea ceremony or as a source of antioxidants, you know that this matcha, as with all of our products, is extremely fresh. We only order as we sell them and is a quality throughout. A little bit of Japaneseism for you there. Grown in Uji, as with all of our matcha green teas, we keep this product under refrigeration until shipment. So not actually a whole lot to go off of there, other than it's a good matcha. Not much in the way of tasting notes or anything like that, but uh, a very fine product. Absolutely would be happy to have this one uh, again and again. But in this battle, going head to head up against Blend 100, Blend 100 is gonna take it. That does it for battle number five, which makes our bracket now look a little something like this. And I will see you for battle number six. See you soon.